Hi Stampin' Friends! Today I want to share another project that we made at my last stamp camp. We used um, Timeless Tropical on a card and I thought it would be fun. I always like to make a treat holder of some kind at my stamp camps. We make several cards and then a treat holder type thing. And I used the In the Tropics die. So this project doesn't use the stamps at all, but I wanted to show it to you because it coordinates with the dies. This is a really fun die set. and. Um, it's really pretty and it's you know great for this season right now, summertime, we're towards the end of summertime, amazingly, it went by so fast. Um, anyway, it's got a really cute die set with palm trees and this little fun aloha and um, this project uses this big pineapple. So there's no stamp involved with the big pineapple, there's a little pineapple though. And um, I'm going to use the big pineapple and the aloha. Okay, this is in the annual catalog, by the way, and they're sold separately, so if you want just the dies, look in the back, but otherwise they're a really cute combination, and I think worth checking out, whether you're in Hawaii or not. <laughs> okay, so this is um, the pineapple die, and I'm going to do them in two different colors. I'm going to do the bottom in a scrap of bumblebee, and then I'm going to cut out the top in some shaded spruce. And you need one of each of those. So I'll go cut that out and be back. Okay, so here we have our little pineapple. Now you'll notice that the pineapple is hollow, like it has empty cutout spaces, really cute little spikes. So that's kind of fun. And another thing about the leaf die is that you can actually um, poke out some of the leaves to kind of make that pineapple even more spiky, which is fun. And um, I like doing that, so I'm going to do that. Just going to spike them out a little bit, just for fun. Okay. Now, I wanted to give them a more pineapple-y feel, so I used a sponge to kind of darken the pineapple a little bit. So I grabbed a little bit of cinnamon cider and a little bit of early espresso and I just kind of darkened up my pineapple a little bit and I folded it over to kind of make the uh, spikes stick up because I wanted them to be darker. And then I did kind of similar thing with the espresso. I just wanted to give it some darkness. Now it is perfectly acceptable for this little pineapple to be hollow and to have that white underneath. But if you don't want the white underneath, you can cut a piece of um, bumblebee to stick underneath, which is what I did. And I didn't want, as I used this at Stamp Camp, I didn't want to have to have people necessarily trying to cut the perfect shape. So I was looking at my punches and I found this one and it's actually like the perfect size this way to cut for my pineapple. So I just cut out one of these. So yes, it does. Um, it's not exactly perfect. You can decide if you want the little bumps on the side to come out this way. You can try it this way. And it's not perfect, but it's so close that I didn't even bother changing it. Um, I didn't even bother trimming the side off because, you know, the pineapples are kind of funky shaped anyway. So I left it alone. But if you don't like that little bump sticking off the side, you can take it out with some scissors. Okay, so what we're making is a tag. I should have shown it to you at the start, but <laughs> um, we're going to make a tag using some cardstock and some designer series paper. Now, this paper is super fun with the pineapples, and it's from a paper collection called, um, let me find it. It's from the Bloom Where You're Planted paper collection, and this is a really fun collection, and it's got some succulent plants and some tropical plants, lots of different pots. If you have a gardener in your life, this is a good one. 
and I was looking at the patterns and I realized that some of them were pretty tropical. So they would look great on, um, you know, maybe you're doing a Hawaiian shirt or <laughs> something with a Hawaiian feel or a tropical feel. You can use some of these. Now, there's also this nice wood grain. So I thought I would show you this paper because maybe you're going to overlook it because you don't do, you're not, a, you know, into the pots. But look at the back sides. So this is a really great one. It's just a little tropical plant. Here's another. And a brick wall. So the back sides of these are super intriguing. I love this brick wall. Um, here's this one is the wood grain back. Here is another wood texture like planks. This is that tropical one that I'm using today and on the back of this one is a different type of brick wall, kind of like a tile. I don't know if I still have a sample of every single sheet. Probably not because I have used quite a bit of this paper for other projects. This one's nice. It's just like a big kind of a background that you can use for anything, really. It looks like cement or just a kind of a painted background, a little simple background. This is a nice one, too. If you cut it in half and make card fronts out of this, it's just got that kind of drippy vine feel. Anyway, so it's a nice paper pack, and I wanted to show you where I got that tropical pattern. So that's where it came from. And then I have another one that's just basic white. And these are cut five and a half by two inches. And I'm using two inches because I wanted to use this tag topper punch. These are super fun to have. And they, we've over the years sold a variety of different toppers. And so this is the current one. And what you just do is you just stick it in there. And that's why you need the two inches. If you go smaller, that's okay too. So you can go smaller, just not bigger and you're going to cut off the top and it gives you that nice hole as well. Now something odd, or maybe not super unusual, <laughs> happened at Stamp Camp in that I forgot to bring this. I don't do them here at my home. I, I rent a space because there's too many people and um, I forgot this. It's the one thing I forgot. So I did have this punch and the great thing about that is that it's also two inches so I was able to slip the paper from the back and then we punched from there and then just added a hole and voila you have kind of a tag topper so when you have a punch you can look at all different ways to use it so I'm using it as a background behind here but you, we also at Stamp Camp used it to decorate the top of a tag see how that worked and it was great so um, this is a fun little thing a little tag topper that you can use and think about you know slipping it in through the back hey now you can't slip it in the normal way because then it would have cut both sides and you only wanted the top to cut hopefully that makes sense okay so I've got my two tags and we're gonna build on this one I wanted to just add a little bit of an end to it so I'm gonna add a little this uh, tropical ferns or what are they I don't know a little plant empty. Okay. And then you can further decorate the end of this if you want by cutting a little flagged end in it, which is what we did. And how I like to do that is I like to cut in the middle a little slit going up and then I go from the corner to that slit there we go so that is our tag and now I'm going to just go ahead and layer my uh, my pineapple so I'm going to put this one down first Handed on my glue there. Alright, some little dots of glue all around here and there. And same with this one. So then 
I wanted to add the Aloha. So one thing you can do is you can make that Aloha stick up a little bit. What I did was I added some foam adhesive to the back and at Stamp Camp we were just cutting out Aloha's with the um, foam adhesive already on the back which just gave the word a little bit of height. I think this piece, I had another one over here. Well, we'll just try and finish off this piece here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. And so it is a puffier, and so it's a little bit harder to cut through, but we can do it. So what I did with it is I ran it through once, then I let it go back again so that it kind of went through twice. And that way it's already got some sticky on it with the adhesive, and it's already got some puffiness. Now this is a, one of a pretty small and detailed little die. So these little centers of the A and the L and the O um, are going to have to be poked out with your a pin or if you have the pokey tool, the paper piercer. So it's a little tricky. Normally it's easier on a die that doesn't have quite such skinny details like this one. So I'm going to stick it down. It's easier, I have found, to stick the word down and then pull out the centers of those letters that you want to pull out. So then you're just kind of digging out the A, and this one, the H came out, but the L did not. All right, so now I wanted to show you some bags that Stampin' Up! sells. They are these really cute little gusseted bags. They're called printed gusseted bags. And that is what I'm using. And, you know, they're kind of, sometimes when you want to give a treat to somebody, um, you're, you're concerned, if depending on how many, um, will fit in the bag, how much treat, what, so what size treat. And these look like skinny little bags, but they're gusseted, which means they're pleated, and they really hold quite a bit. And I'm using this Sweetwater Taffy. These are really fun. It's um, kiwi, lime, pineapple, ginger, and mango chili. Um, this one's spicy. It's got a kick to it. It's kind of fun. These are just from the grocery store, but the brand was Sweetwater Taffy. And so I wanted to, you know, you, if I put enough in here, it would have been uh, even more expensive <laughs> to use. So what I did is... I used some of this raffia, I think that's what you call it, and I just took a little handful and put it in the bag, and then a few of the taffy, and then a little bit more of the raffia, and then a few more taffy. And I repeated that three times. And that way, yeah, the raffia doesn't take up a lot of space, but it does take up a little bit, and it makes the bag look fuller. And I also kind of feel like it gives it more of a pineappy feel. That's what I'm going with anyway. So you can do one more layer. I'm going to save this mango one for myself. Okay. And then you're just going to tie it. So what we did at Stamp Camp is we used this gold and burlapy looking ribbon. Bring it up close so you can see what I mean. It's like natural but with gold um, kind of uh, threading in it. What are they calling it? I forget. Fine art ribbon is the is the uh, style name. But it's just really kind of interesting. It's like a natural linen with gold thread. So it's kind of got earthy look, but then it's dressy. <laughs> so we're just going to tie this around. Nice and tight. Oh, you know, um, 
But I wanted to show you a smaller version I did a couple years ago back when we had um, a color called Pineapple Punch. And this was a gum holder and it there was a pineapple flavor trident that I put in here and this was a little gift that I gave to a teacher. So it's fun to use this at summertime as a little treat and I realize that's what I keep using it for is treat holders. It's such a cute little summertime treat holder. You could use it as a, at a themed party too, like maybe a beach themed party. All right, so now you're going to slip your ribbon through the little holes. And tie a bow. Now I wanted my tags to be slightly apart, kind of so that you can see that tropicalness underneath. So I took a glue dot and just kind of stuck it in place. It's supposed to look like a natural hanging tag, but I'm going to give it a little bit of help by gluing it exactly where I want it. There we go. Let me just trim up my ribbon. Sorry, I left that sentence hanging for a while, didn't I? There we go. So there is my pineapple themed treat holder. I hope you like it. Super cute. So easy. And that is one of our stamp camp project. And here's an older one. There is a video for this one if you wanted to know the size of the box. Um, I did make a video for this one a couple years ago. Just kind of search for pineapple treat holder maybe and you will see it. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.